Once upon a time, in a small village in ancient Japan, there lived a poor stonecutter named Taro. He worked tirelessly every day, using his hammer and chisel to carve large stones into smaller pieces, which he would sell for a meager amount of money. Although Taro was content with his simple life, he often dreamed of having more wealth and power. One hot summer day, as Taro was toiling away at his work, he saw a procession of rich and powerful people pass by. They were being carried in carriages, fanned by servants, and wearing expensive clothing and jewelry. Taro was filled with envy and resentment at the sight of their wealth and power. As he continued to work, he saw a beautiful mansion on a hill, owned by a wealthy merchant. Taro thought to himself, if only I could be as wealthy and powerful as that merchant, I would be happy. Suddenly, Taro heard a strange voice, which seemed to be coming from the rocks he was working on. The voice said, Taro, if you want to be powerful, wish to be a mountain. Taro was puzzled by the voice, but he thought to himself, if I were a mountain, I would be strong and powerful, and no one could ever harm me. So he closed his eyes and wished to be a mountain. To his surprise, he suddenly transformed into a great mountain, towering high into the sky. As a mountain, Taro was happy and content for a while. He was strong and powerful, and nothing could ever harm him. But one day, a powerful storm came, and the wind and rain battered him relentlessly. Taro realized that, as a mountain, he was not invincible after all. As the storm raged on, Taro heard the voice again. It said, Taro, if you want to be powerful, wish to be a river. So Taro wished to be a river, and he transformed into a great river flowing swiftly and majestically through the valley. As a river, Taro was happy and content for a while. He flowed swiftly and smoothly, and he nourished the land around him. But one day, a group of men came to the river and dammed it up. The river was no longer able to flow, and Taro realized that, as a river, he was not invincible after all. Once again, Taro heard the strange voice. It said, Taro, if you want to be powerful, wish to be the sun. So Taro wished to be the sun, and he transformed into a bright and shining sun, illuminating the world below. As the sun, Taro was happy and content for a while. He shone brightly in the sky, warming the earth and bringing light to all living things. But one day, a thick cloud came and covered him up, blocking his light from reaching the earth. Taro realized that, as the sun, he was not invincible after all. Once again, Taro heard the strange voice. It said, Taro, if you want to be powerful, wish to be yourself. Taro realized that the voice was right. He had been foolish to wish for things that he could never be, and he had wasted his time and energy chasing after these impossible dreams. Taro decided to be content with who he was and what he had. He went back to being a stonecutter, but he no longer invited the wealthy and powerful people he had seen. He was content with his simple life, and he worked hard every day grateful for the blessings he had. From that day on, Taro lived a simple and contented life, no longer wishing to be anything else but himself. He realized that true happiness came from within, and he didn't need wealth or power to be happy. Over time, Taro's simple and humble nature earned him the respect and admiration of the people in his village. They came to appreciate his hard work and dedication, and he became known as a wise and contented man.